For centuries, the great white shark was the unquestionable symbol of terror in the oceans, a living legend with an arsenal dating back millions of years. But science in recent years has revealed a shocking truth. The Earth's most feared predator is afraid. It flees. It is hunted. This is not a battle of strength, but a confrontation at the peak of evolution, muscle versus social brain. To understand this rivalry, we have to look back at history. Before them, the ocean belonged to the Megalodon, and the great white shark is its descendant. But the crown wasn't inherited by brute strength. It was conquered by intelligence. The orca, despite being the largest dolphin, proves that predatory success lies in cooperation and culture. This is our most complete documentary, Uncovering All the Secrets. You are about to witness the most sophisticated warfare tactics on the planet. If you value this deep dive into marine biology, subscribe now and come uncover the truth. The great white shark is a perfection in design. Its hydrodynamics are studied by modern engineering. More than that, its ability to be partially endothermic allows it to hunt in cold waters, maintaining a higher internal temperature generating the burst of speed that makes it lethal. It is the force of nature, no doubt, but without the flexibility of the mind. This is its true superpower, the ampullae of Lorenzini. Explain how these cells, visible on the head, capture tiny electrical fields. The great white shark can sense the beating heart of prey, or even the small electrical field generated by a muscle under tension. Its attack is an equation, electricity plus speed plus surprise. But this dependence on solitary hunting will be its greatest weakness. The great white shark dominates vast regions of the globe, such as the famous Farallon Islands and Gonsby in South Africa. But every hunt is a high-risk gamble it expends precious energy on each attack, and when the hunt fails, it is alone to bear the loss. This is the fundamental difference. While the orca benefits from group strength, the great white shark, with all its ancestral evolutionary perfection, finds its greatest weakness in its dependence on solitary action. The orca uses the most recent evolution, that of the brain. Its brain, with a highly developed limbic lobe allows for empathy, emotion, and most importantly, cultural memory. Orcas aren't just smart. They have dialects and traditions that vary from pod to pod. The attack isn't instinct, it's transmitted knowledge. This is the proof of their superiority. Dividing society into ecotypes is a tactic that optimizes energy. Transient orcas, focused on mammals, use the wave wash technique. Analyzing the wave wash requires cooperation, timing, and communication. It is wave engineering to dislodge the prey, something no other species does. The leaders are frequently the oldest females. They are the ocean's library. They guide the group to hunting areas not visited for decades and hold the knowledge of how to survive rare climatic events. Their intelligence is literally in the family's memory, ensuring the survival of all. The direct confrontation between the orcapod and the great white shark is fast and frighteningly organized. The orca uses its snout like a battering ram to flip the shark upside down. This is not a random attack. Tonic immobility is nature's checkmate. The shark enters a complete trance. The orca keeps it immobilized, asphyxiating it, and with surgical precision extracts the liver, which is rich in squalene and fat. It is a hunt for maximum reward with zero risk. And the great white shark, even after surviving, flees the area for months upon hearing the orca's sound. 
The Orca teaches us maximum efficiency, maximum energy with minimal expenditure. The great white shark, with its explosive and solitary hunt, spends more to gain less. The choice of the liver is the final proof that the orca's survival depends on a nutritional intelligence that the solitary predator lacks. The greatest threat is not biological, it's chemical. The bioaccumulation of toxins like PCBS and mercury is the cost of living at the top of the food chain. Mother orcas pass this toxic load to their calves during nursing, undermining the future of their intelligence. If the great white shark fled from the orca's strength, how will the orca flee from our pollution? The real challenge now is conservation and respect for the ocean. You have reached the end of a documentary about this epic rivalry. Science has proven that the domain belongs to the mind over muscle. Now, we want to hear your voice. If you stayed with us, your comment is essential. Which predator in history is your favorite? Comment, give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.